Hey guys, Jason Ladana here. Recently, Penguin Magic sent me a couple of these um, Bicycle Elite Edition playing cards to review. So let's um, have a uh, unboxing ceremony and find out what these cards are all about. I'm very used to using standard bikes, the same kind that you can get in um, places like BJ's. And I also uh, am a huge fan of the Turner uh, decks, the gold standard decks. So today let's find out what these um, uh, Elite Edition cards are all about. I've heard a few things like they may be thinner or whatever, but I have yet to open one. So let's find out what's inside. Uh, so this is a, what I'm used to, is the traditionally cut uh, gold standards. Here we've got a brand new one right out of the box. And uh, I'm used to this deck. This is what I'll always use in my shows, or I'll use the uh, regular standard, the kind of bikes you might find at a BJ's wholesale kind of place. Uh, but this is the um, Richard Turner Gold Standard deck. Hasn't been shuffled yet, so let's warm this up with a quick uh, table pharaoh. And I, I want to just uh, shuffle this deck first before I try the elites, because I've heard that the elites are a little thinner. So. I just want to get my bearings here a little bit with this deck. And of course, uh, right out of the box, you can get a perfect uh, shuffle right out of the box. Uh, I hope the light, uh, you're not getting too much reflection, but you can see we have the top card on the right, the bottom card on the left, and all the way throughout a perfect uh, weave of the cards. Uh, so yeah, these feel great, but I'm used to this. Uh, so now let's move on to the... Uh, Bicycle Elites, and uh, probably the coolest thing I've heard about these is this tab here, and apparently I'm supposed to just be able to pull once here and get this tab to open, and man, that does feel good. I haven't felt that in uh, in 20 years, you know, since I've been a, open a deck of cards without having to use one of these. All right, so that's nice. The first thing I've noticed there, the next thing is, of course, the back design printed on the back. Uh, that's a huge for me, the type of work I do. I enjoy that. And plus, it just reminds me of the old boxes, so that is a plus there. Uh, now, like I said, I've heard that they're thinner, and I can feel it already. It feels... Get rid of the uh, advertising cards. It feels about one card shy. It feels about like... Uh, so this feels... This is 52 here. And this feels like 51 cards. That's the first thing I've heard, and it's true. They really do feel a little bit thinner. All right, so the first thing I want to do is take a look at the the horseshoe spread. I can uh, I can feel it already. The uh, how much I had to bend the deck on a standard. I really have to to or excuse me, the uh, Richard Turner's. I really had to give the deck a good squeeze in order to do the horseshoe. And these cards just have a little bit more of a broken in feel. The deck was able to bend uh, a little bit easier. Uh, to do the spread. Uh, but the other test I wanted to give the cards was a um, a table ferrule uh, right out of the box to see how the deck will shuffle uh, for the first time. The standards did it and it looks like, well look at that, it looks like the uh, elites do it as well. A perfect table ferrule from top to bottom, same thing. I'm not sure if the light is giving you a reflection but you can see we have the top card on the right bottom card on the left. Perfect weave throughout. So I gotta say, the um, oh, these feel great. The uh, ability to ferro out of the box, there's no rough edges, I can't feel anything like that. There's nothing weird uh, about the deck except for that thinness. The thinness is the only thing that I would say is uh, something that I would have to get used to, but the finish feels good. Uh, there's uh, there's no binding or anything like that. They definitely feel very, very nice. So I gotta say, everything uh, so far is true. It feels like a, a great deck of cards, so I definitely approve. Um, whether they're better than the standards, I don't know. I'm gonna have to perform with these, but out of the box, uh, these are pretty amazing cards, so I gotta give them uh, five stars, that's for sure. Um, but like I said, the biggest thing that I've noticed is the, uh, the, difference, in, uh, the difference in thickness of all the cards. And just for fun, while we're here, why not try a deck of regular old standards here, just to see kind of where we're at, put everything into perspective. We'll get rid of this, get rid of this. And again, this is the hardest deck to bend. I've got to put the most amount of pressure in the deck to get a horseshoe on the table like that. 
And of course, if you're putting more pressure into the deck, you're going to have a tougher time making this uh, look perfect. And then, of course, the ultimate test, the table pharaoh right out of the card box. There's our splits. And remember, these have the rough edges, and I am fighting it a little bit. Uh, it is perfect uh, from top to bottom, uh, but I could feel the cards bind the edges. I could feel the edges uh, of the cards bind a little bit. Again, because of the light, you can see top card here, in this case, is on the uh, left. Uh, this card is on the right up here, perfect weave throughout. But as the cards weave together, I could feel myself having to kind of work the cards together a little bit. And that's just the nature of a, of a standard deck, just the way the cards are cut. So, again, that's my take. The regular bicycle standards that you can buy in BJ's still, I mean, they work, but uh, the way the edges are cut from not being traditionally cut, you can get around it, but not always reliable. Today's deck was fine. I've had other decks that just will not shuffle at all. They don't do what I want them to do. The gold standards still are one of my personal favorites. They're the, the right thickness for me. It's just what I'm used to, but they're the same thickness as the regular standards you can buy anywhere. Um, so uh, there's a minor adjustment for me to go to the elites, but I gotta say they are living up to the hype. Here they are. <laughs> I was looking for them. Here they are. The elite edition is uh, holding up to all the hype that I've heard online. They are an excellent deck of cards. The finish is amazing. The ferro, the table ferro, right out of the box. They, uh, of course, the back design is a plus, and they definitely have a lot more uh, worn in kind of a feeling. Um, without being worn in, you get that fresh new box, uh, new card finish. Um, right from the get-go there. Uh, just to be completely honest, the only thing that I felt was a little bit uh, different was the fact that it feels like you're missing a card. It feels like there's 51 cards there. So other than that, uh, I gave it five stars. It's a great deck of cards, and uh, I will certainly uh, be ordering um, another couple of bricks of these just to try them out at my shows and see, uh, see what it's all about. All right, thanks a lot, guys. I appreciate it, and uh, feel free to share this video. Uh, like it, share it, comment. Let me know what you think of the elites if you've given them a shot. Let me know what you think of the gold standards, and also if anybody still out there uses the uh, bikes, the cheap bikes, let me know if you're having any problems with those. All right, guys, thanks a lot.